So the big advantage of the single-use bronchoscopes are you don't have a cross-contamination con with whatever is on the scope. From a patient perspective, you can be sure that you use it in, that, in the patient A and then you throw it away. So patient B will never be have any negative effects due to a, again, you scope. This is from a patient perspective the major advantage. And since we have now the one pulmo and having all the features we need, angulation, suction capacity and on, there is no negatives from the patient perspective. One of the benefits is really you, it's a quick use. You just shut on the monitor, you open the box, you connect the scope and you start. Um, otherwise, when you have to do it on ICU, for example, you have to bring the whole tower in that room next to the patient, then you have to look for the scope. So from, from a patient perspective, it's the quick use. And, but especially from a doctor's perspective, this is also an advantage. Due to the possibility of the angulation, which is comparable to, the, to a normal scope, yeah, you do not have any negatives when you maneuver through the bronchial system with uh, one pulmo. Cost and bronchoscopy is quite an important question. And to be honest, when you go to different departments, I believe most of the physicians have no idea how much really a procedure costs them. And the procedure is not only doing a bronchoscope, it's what costs the nurse, the, the reprocessing time, to install the reprocessing unit. This is a complex cost building and most of the hospital, I think at least in Europe, do not really know how much really a procedure costs them. Driving the hospitals that they're really thinking about a cost of a procedure. I am relatively sure that a lot of hospitals really start thinking to move away from reusable scopes to single-use scopes from a cost perspective. When you have uh, the Pentax single-use scope in your hand and you used it, then it's really <laughs> a burden that you have to throw it away afterwards, uh, especially thinking about the CO2 footprint. So therefore, we have a lot of debates with your company, what the company offers to come somehow in a positive balance there. The advantage is that it's single use, we do not have any cross contamination, we do not have the whole cleaning process in the back and we can use it just by opening a box. But we have to accept that we're producing more material which we're throwing away afterwards and therefore it's, I think, an obligation from the company to sh tell me as a user what the company is doing to compensate that. I think that we'll, there are different scenarios. I think it's a little bit depending what you are doing, how many procedures you are doing. When you only do bronchoscopy in a spe specific situation, might be on the ICU or something like that, you don't need the whole reprocessing unit anymore and you don't need the training for the reprocessing. So therefore, for those hospitals, the single-use scopes are for sure the better solution. Having had the chance to, to have a couple of single-use scopes in my hand, I really can say that uh, one Pullmore has the big advantage that is the single-use scope, which is really comparable to what we normally use in the reusable ones. The angulation is comparable, the suction capacity is comparable, or maybe better. I would say for a standard procedure, uh, where I do not have a need for a specific scope. I believe you can do that as good with the one pulmo as you can do that with a normal scope.